more than 700 million people visit zoos and aquariums every year, you know, except for this year. They contribute more than $350 million to the global economy. Now think back, way back before COVID, to the last time that you were at an aquarium. Remember all those signs about no flash photography? Well, are they backed up by science? Or maybe are they just an assumption that sudden bright lights might be disturbing to the animals? Well, turns out there's a paper all about exactly that, and it was published back in 2019. So we'll find out. And I'll share some tips and tricks on getting better photos through glass in your aquariums as well. Hi, guys and girls. I'm Reef Man. Let's dive in. So the paper is titled Behavioral and Pathomorphological Impacts of Flash Photography on Benefic Fishes. And it was published in Nature's Science Reports in January of 2019. The paper's open access. The link is down below in the description. Check it out if you want more detail that I'm going to go to in this video. So first off, do you even need a flash for your aquarium photography? Aquariums are pretty bright usually, and I've never had issues taking photos or even video in my aquarium without a flash. In diving though, that's where a flash is going to come in more helpful. Though our tanks are very bright, in the wild you might not be able to use a fast enough shutter to be able to prevent blurry photos without having a flash. In the paper, the team looked at the effects of flashes and diver manipulation on 14 different species, particularly looking at seahorses and other cryptic fish like that. Now, as you'd expect, physically moving a fish to get him into a better position for a photo is very stressful for a fish. There's no surprise there, really. Species like seahorses are visual predators. If they can't see their prey, they won't eat it. Strong flashes of light can hurt our eyes. In fact, let's test it out. Here is your warning if you're watching this in a dark room. Three, two, one. Now, did you get any temporary blindness from that? Certainly, if you were here in person and I blasted my face, you would have some eye blindness, just temporary blindness. But does the same thing happen to a seahorse? Are their eyes built the same way and sensitive to sudden changes in brightness, just like our eyes are? Well, to find out, the team collected seahorses and they split them into three different groups. A control group, which would have no flashes. A low intensity group, which would have a flash like you might have on your cell phone, a low intensity flash. And then a high intensity group, which would get a very bright flash from a high powered flash similar to the one I've got here in my hand. And this is a flash point flash. Flashes have no effect on the time that a seahorse spends hunting. Well. They actually, they just went on doing whatever they were doing before the flash. And if that was looking for food or tracking down a shrimp, well, they did that with or without it. Flashes of light also did not affect the seahorse's ability to actually capture prey. So they don't think they had any temporary blindness like we get. There's also no effect on where in the aquariums their seahorses spent their time after being subjected to numerous flashes. Similarly, the seahorses did not turn around or orient themselves any differently after the flash. Seahorses that were subjected to very high intensity flashes spent more of their time just swimming around in their tank than the low intensity or control group seahorses. And those seahorses in the high intensity group also showed more startled responses to the light. Additionally, seahorses that were subjected to those very bright flashes also breathed a lot faster, up to 27 breaths per minute, compared to about 17 for the low intensity and control group seahorses, and there was no difference between those two. Now that's really the main difference that the team found, and it seems reasonable, right? Very bright flashes of light are going to startle unsuspecting fish, and startled fish are probably going to be more stressed and breathe faster. But would there be any actual physical damage, maybe, to the seahorse's eyes from the flashes of light like we would get? Well, to find out, the team used a scanning electron microscope to look at the cells inside the seahorse's eyes. And they found there was no apparent damage to them. The seahorses that they used for that final part of the study were actually subjected to 4,600 flash exposures over a period of 34 days before their eyes were examined. And even those seahorses with all those flashes fed normally and had no impact on their ability to hunt. So if you do want to take photos through an aquarium, especially if you're doing it with a flash, what's the best way? Photos through glass, especially with a flash, as you're all aware, I'm sure, have to deal with reflections. And there is a cheap and easy solution to that. 
For a few dollars online, you can get a silicone lens hood like this one. It just slides up over your lens and then you can stick it up along the, the aquarium glass that'll block all of the reflections and they're flexible. So you can move your camera around to get just the perfect shot without having to move the lens hood. And again, you, you probably don't need a flash and that's going to cut down a lot on your reflections right off the bat. These only cost, I think, maybe $5 on Amazon, They're just silicone lens hoods. Remember that this study was done in seahorses. Different fish might have different responses to flash. Certainly their eyes could be different. And certainly our eyes would be negatively impacted if you subjected yourself to several thousand bright flashes over a month. Now that said, the seahorses that they studied came from relatively low light areas. Fish that live up near the surface of the reef are subjected to bright light. And as we all know, you kind of flickers as it filters down through the water. And that flicker can actually cause brief spikes in sunlight intensity as high as 100 times the baseline level. Essentially, it's just a natural flash. So some fish, especially those shallow bright reef fish at least, are probably pretty well adapted to this kind of brief light exposure and they won't suffer the same kind of damage that our eyes would. Even though this study found that over a month period, there was no damage and no additional stress, that doesn't necessarily mean that aquariums should just allow it. We don't know what would happen after day in and day out constant flashes over many years, but imagine what it would be like for you in that aquarium. Most aquariums are housed in darkened rooms so that they stand out and we can see them better. It's just not going to be as much fun if there's flashes going off all around us while we're looking at the tanks. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you do use a flash for your photography at home in your aquarium. If you do, I'm really curious what sort of photos you're taking that requires a flash. You can link your photos down below in the description. We'll check them out. Take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. Have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.